I hope that's not gonna be ridiculously long. I might actually cut it in two parts. Um, mm, my old water bottle broke. I mean, not the bottle, but the rubber. And they didn't have replacement, so I got a new one. And a full refund for my old one that I had to send back. So I decided I'm gonna splurge on a... Can you see that? Yeah. On a clean canteen. And I had it for a couple of weeks now, and I really, really love it. Plus, it's not insulated, so it's much lighter than the old one. Mm. I believe it was 24 pounds, but it's totally worth it. And I got it with the bamboo cap, so if you're thinking about splurging on a bottle, this is the bottle. And if you think about it, it's super cheap. Like... You don't have to buy a new bottle, a new plastic bottle every week if you're still doing that. And you can just buy that one and it's going to last you for years. Plus, apparently, Clean Canteen have really good customer services. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. So should it ever break, I'm sure they would be able to help you. Okay, that's it for my water bottle. Let's go. Let's, Let's get on. Of the packing. This, this video is probably going to be super weird and I'm probably going to be embarrassed to put it out there but this whole packing process needs to be documented and shared. Yes. Okay, let's get on with it. Oh, and that's how I usually am with friends. So if you're watching that and thinking, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I'm not supposed to swear. What the hell is going on? Then you know, this is real. This is real. Okay, I'm gonna back it up. I don't think there's a good way to film that, but this is the suitcase. And you can't really see it now, but it's really big. It's massive and it fits, it fits everything that I really need. So it's perfect and I'm just gonna pack it. So let's get into it. Well, this is everything that I'm gonna take to New York City, but that I might not need in Vienna and in London. And now I'm gonna try to pack all the rest of the stuff. And as I said, it's probably gonna be a long one. On to the second part of the suitcase. As I said, in this part, I'm going to put everything that I will need in London and in Vienna. It's a really heavy cardigan. These are my t-shirts for the week. This is all my underwear. Or, well, yeah, actually this is the majority of my underwear. Oh, this is a bag containing my wedding dress. So I'm going to put that... On the other half, because I'm not going to need that anytime soon. I'm planning on going see waste shopping, obviously. In Rihanna, there's a store there, so I'm going to need those things. This is, again, as I showed you earlier, the bottle I got from my sister. So I'm going to put that in here. These are converters that I'm not going to need until I'm in New York City, although I'm not sure. Yeah, I will probably need that for a couple of things. So I'm gonna put that in here and these are just cables and I'm gonna put them into this little thingy and batteries that are for my analog camera so I will give them to my sister so this is it really this is the packing that I did I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and the remaining things are things that I either need to take to my friend's house, so then I'm gonna, yeah, I have to put them in the suitcase. And other things I still need for those last couple days. And those things I will pack into the suitcase whenever I'm leaving my room. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now. It's gonna be good. This is it. Everything is gone. That's just stuff for my tripod, which I'm going to pack up in a bit. 
this is my towel that I will need, a couple bags that I will need, my beauty stuff, hairbrushes, a book that I have to return. Here's the tripod, and here's my small suitcase, and here I have a couple of things that I need to bring to my friend's house that I will pack, my trash, a couple euros, my passport, calendar, and my laptop that will go. Where will that go? Damn, that has to fit into my carry-on. And that's it. Oh, and that's the suitcase. So that's the left side. And that's whoop, the right side. As you can see, there's still plenty of room. Even on the left side, there's still plenty of room. So I think it will be under 23 kg, which I need. So yeah, that's it. This is it. I'm gonna do a bit, well not packing, but I'm just gonna take the champagne bottle that I got at work, put it in the suitcase, and then some biscuits that I got at work that aren't vegan, that I'm gonna bring to my friend's house, and that is it. It was probably a super awkward vlog, or whatever you wanna call this, but I simply wanted to do, document the process, and... If it's not useful, then maybe it was entertaining. If it wasn't entertaining, then, well, I'm sorry about that. That's just, that's just, that's just me. So now you've been exposed to all the weirdness that there is. I hope you still enjoy it, obviously. I hope you got some value from it. And if nothing else, maybe a laugh, maybe not. Who knows? I'll see you guys next time. And I'm probably going to be in Austria. Or whenever you watch this, I might already be in Austria or will be spending my last couple of days here in London. Who knows? See you guys next.